Hi. Okay, so here we are in my backyard and I have a really in incredible patch of comfrey to share with you. Just kidding. Um, it's the very first rains of the winter here in Sonoma County. So it's a great day to be outside filming. And I want to harvest some of my comfrey roots so that we can take it into the lab and make a tincture with it so that we can then make a toner with it. And so I am here with my barrel of with my barrel planter which has some really sad looking lemon balm and some just kind of okay looking comfrey uh, it is fall so well it's almost winter so one of the big reasons why these aren't looking amazing is a i stopped watering them kind of praying for rain and now it's finally here and also winter is the time when all the energy of plants drops away from the leaves and stems and goes into the root so that the energy is held there and the plant stays alive and survives the winter. So it's pretty common for a lot of our herbal plants and just plants in general to lose their leaves, which is happening all around me right now, lose their leaves and have all of that energy go into the root. So it's a great time to harvest comfrey root, which is what we're going to be making our tincture out of today. Comfrey I have right here in a planter box because I have a lot of gophers in my backyard and this has been my best solution for keeping the roots from being eaten. Even though comfrey is very prolific and once I get it established here, this is only its first year in my garden, so once I get it established it really will, it'll take over this whole planter box and then it's going to take over everything around it too once the flowers start to produce seeds. So I have no fear that I will have a big beautiful comfrey patch someday, but for now I'm just keeping it in the planter so that the roots can get really strong and aren't bothered too much by anything like gophers. And so we're just going to harvest some of this. A nice thing about comfrey root is that you can tear apart the roots and leave some in the ground. Because it's so prolific it just keeps on producing. And um, comfrey is just one of our best skin and wound healing herbs. Uh, the Latin name for comfrey is Symphytum officinale and it's in the borage family. So if you are growing any borage, you'll notice that they have a very similar feel and leaf structure. And uh, so comfrey is a really wonderful skin healing herb or vulnerary, both the leaf and the root. It contains a lot of mucilage, which is something we love for skincare because it's really emollient topically. It's also very demulcent internally. It is contraindicated to take comfrey internally because it does have paralyzidine alkaloids, what's also called PAs, and those are over time they can build up in your liver and be toxic to the liver so especially if you have any liver issues or um, deficiency in your liver you would want to avoid taking comfrey internally but topically it's really incredible it's called bone knit you can use it to help with sprains and wounds topically um, broken bones even as a poultice you can put it on topically and if you look into the constituents of comfrey a really specific one that's pretty amazing is allantoin and allantoin is a considered a cell proliferator. And so what it's helping to do is it's helping to moisten the top layer of your dermis, especially because of that emolliency in the, um, the mucilage of the plant. So the allantoin that's present there is helping to soften, moisten, and shed the top layer of the dermis. So for that reason, it's called a carotolytic. Um, and so also it can help potentially with keratosis pilaris, which is those little bumps of, of um, hard skin that you get on your arms. It can help really to soften and shed the, and exfoliate that condition. So I'm going to now dig up some of this comfrey root using my hori hori. And we'll see how well established this is after just one year in the ground. Hello Comfrey, I'd like to take some of you for making skin gear. Basically at this point I'm just gonna take some and leave the rest in because it's really got a good taproot going and if I leave that in, it will just keep on growing. So I'm gonna cut right here. Basically cut this thing in half. And that is plenty for what we're going to do today. 
and then the rest can stay in there and enjoy this first rain of the season. Cover it back up and always good to try and leave no trace. All right, this is what we got. We won't need much more than that. We're just making a little bit of toner today. So we're gonna take this into the lab now and process it. Okay, I'm back in the Herb Nerd lab and I've got the comfrey root and leaf that we just harvested and now it is time to process it. So we're going to be making a tincture. It's a fresh tincture and I'm going to be using math. So I'm going to be doing a ratio of one to two, one part herb to two parts menstruum. We'll get to that in a moment. First, we need to break down our plant material into smaller bits so that we can process it better. I'm a big fan of breaking everything down as small as I can because you really want to break up those break open those cell walls because plants are really good at maintaining their nutrients and their constituents so you want to get in there and really open up those cell walls so that the constituents will lend themselves better to the menstruum that you're using. Of course, one step that I did take before starting to chop is that I brought everything into the Herb Nerd sink and I started rinsing. So I wanted to rinse off as much of the dirt as I possibly could. So everything's nice and clean now. And even the leaves, I'm going, the leaves aren't in great shape, but I am going to use some of them because they have so much of that great mucilaginous um, cons consistency to them. And I really want that for my tincture. Also, as I just started cutting into my root it's get it's you can feel the mus the mucilage it's really slippery and smooth and soft and that emollient quality will make for some really nice facial products If you were just processing this to dry it and save it for later, it's still really important that you chop it up as finely as you can because as comfrey root and like many other roots, it's just once it dries, it becomes really hard to process. It's hard as a rock. And so just the regular tools that you would have at home to break it down wouldn't really be enough at that point to chop it up. So you always wanna chop up your roots fresh, whether you're making medicine the same day or whether you're planning on saving them for later, it'll just save you a lot of work later down the line. So I, like I said, I'm gonna take some of the leaf too, especially these stalks. Okay, I'm gonna weigh this out and see where we're at. So I'm gonna pop over to the scale here, make sure it tears to zero. I'm weighing everything in grams because it's a nice small unit of measurement. And we need to know the weight of our herb because as I mentioned earlier, we're doing a ratio of one to two. So we're at 140 grams of our comfrey root and leaf. So I'm gonna stop there. That's plenty and that makes for a lot of tincture. So let's talk tincture terminology. There's a few different words that it's good to remember as you're learning how to make your medicine. So right now I've got my herb and that's all processed and chopped. We're going to be using a ratio to figure out how much menstruum to add to our herb. So what is the menstruum? Menstruum is the solvent that we're using to extract all of our constituents from our plant material. So in this case, because it's a tincture, our menstruum is going to be alcohol, at least some strength of alcohol. Making a fresh plant tincture is a little bit different from making a dry plant tincture. Fresh plant material has a bunch of water in it. So when you think about ratios, a one to two, means one part fresh herb to two parts menstruum. And then there's a whole other question around strength of alcohol because you don't necessarily want to use 100% strength alcohol. Another really important trick of the trade is that those of us who make a lot of medicine all the time are always using a 95% alcohol. 
So we medicine makers like to use a 95% alcohol or 190 proof alcohol. We call this 100% alcohol. And so we always cut that with water, depending on how much alcohol content we want in our final material. So with something like comfrey root, which is pretty wet already, you don't necessarily need to cut your alcohol with water. You can just use 100% alcohol on your herb. But let's talk about what would it, what would it look like if you were gonna make a tincture with fresh plant material and use vodka as your menstruum. So vodka is basically 50, 40 to 50% alcohol to, to 60, 50% water. So it's already got a lot of water content in it. It only has 40 to 50% alcohol content. Um, the alcohol in your tincture is what's keeping it lasting over time. It's the preservative for your medicine. So if you were to make a fresh plant tincture with vodka as your menstruum, you risk the chance that there's so much water in your plant material that it's gonna dilute your vodka so that it goes lower than 25% alcohol and then you're risking the growth of bacteria in your tincture. So this is the reason why we like to always start with a strong 100% alcohol and then cut it with water or dilute it with water to create a final strength alcohol before we add it to our herbs. But because that's a, a more complex topic and we will go over that in future herb nerd classes, let's just do this at 100% alcohol. So, we are, so we're doing a one to two. We weighed out our herbs, it's 140 grams of herb. So to figure out what that ratio of one to two would equal, you have to multiply your weight of your herb by two. Because this is the first part of your ratio, this is the one part herb. For two parts menstruum, you multiply by two. So you take 140, 140 multiplied by two. So we're using 280 milliliters of our menstruum. When you finally press your tincture out, it will be less than 100% alcohol. That's the idea. Okay, so keeping that number in mind, we now have to measure out our menstruum. Measurements won't be super accurate because this doesn't have a 280. It's great to get a graduated cylinder. They have a 250 milliliter graduated cylinder. That would be the one you'd want. I don't happen to have one. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a, um, I'm gonna do a step in here that I think is really crucial because one thing you could do is just put this in your mason jar and pour your menstruum over it and call it a day. But I like to break my plant material down as much as I can. So we already chopped it up. When I brought it in from outside, I already chopped it up. But now I wanna chop it up even more, which is why I have the Vitamix here. So I'm going to pour my 140 grams of comfrey leaf and root. And then I'll top it off with my 280 milliliters of full strength alcohol, 100% and grind that up. So we're just gonna let it go for a while. And definitely my comfrey is looking really nice and ground up. So at that point, we can call that good. Also, this made it so that I could fit it into a pint jar. Okay, it fit perfectly into the mason jar, yes. Now, you'll shake this every day, two to six weeks, and then you'll strain it, and you'll use the liquid to make all of your lovely products. Um, again, this is not an herb that you wanna take internally necessarily, so you could use it as a liniment topically if you just wanted to use it as a straight tincture, but also the whole idea with Herb Nerd is that we take all of these great herbal preparations and we turn them into beautiful products. So what we're going to be doing with this next is in the in our facial product series, we're going to be making a facial toner that will include this lovely comfrey root and leaf tincture. So you'll definitely have to stay tuned for that. Super important to label everything that you make because I have been that person who has forgotten to label something and then 
you're sure you're going to remember what it is. And a week later you have so many different medicines and you're like, what was that again? So you're going to put a label on your tincture. Um, there's some crucial elements that you want to make sure you have on there. The type of plant that you used. Come free leaf and root. Fresh ratio, one to two. Alcohol strength, 100% ethanol, E-T-O-H. Oh God, screwed that up. E T. O H is the shortening of ethanol. So 100% ethanol alcohol and the date 11, 13, 20, 20. My beautiful handwriting. You could write tincture on there, but the fact that you wrote 100% ethanol um, implies that you are making a tincture. Okay, so I have my labeled pint full of fresh root and leaf of comfrey with 100% alcohol. Stay tuned because this is just the beginning. At Herb Nerd, we always take our herbal preparations and turn them into beautiful products. So the goal with this comfrey leaf and root tincture is that we're going to be making a toner, a facial toner. It's going to have comfrey tincture, it's going to have hydrosol, it's going to have some essential oils and some other fun ingredients. And it's also going to be preserved with a natural preservative. If you wanna learn how to take your herbal medicines and put them into products, head over to herbnerd.com. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter and look for the course that is our all natural facial products course. We'll be dropping a link into the comments down below as well. And that will be a great way for you to take your medicines to the next level. We hope to see you there. Also, please be sure to subscribe to the Herb Nerd YouTube channel and we hope to see you more in the Herb Nerd community.